In seminary, you go through something called deconstruction. Uh, you may be familiar with the term. It's basically when some, you take the beliefs you've held, all the things you think you knew, or a category of things you thought you knew, and they start to break apart. It's a very common experience when you go to college for the first time, uh, sort of you start learning things and uh, learning about people and situations and history in very different ways and it sort of all starts to crumble around you and then you have to put the pieces back together. And when I was in seminary, it sort of felt like um, my theological beliefs and my faith beliefs were like these panes of glass, individual um, panes of different colors. and what our professors did was sort of take the pain and almost took great joy in taking a hammer and sort of smashing it and all these parts sort of shatter all over. I thought about reproducing the visual effect for you, but then that would be a really messy, <laughs> sharp uh, glass mess all over the place for us. So I didn't do that. But basically you're sort of breaking all these different beliefs apart um, including in my Old Testament class. Now I had had religion classes in college, so it wasn't as startling for me as it was for others. But I remember this one woman who was uh, in some of my classes and when our Old Testament uh, professor said, Moses didn't write the Pentateuch. He didn't write the first five books of the Bible. She told me later, she was like, oh, we have a heretic teaching us up in here. <laughs> um, she was going through deconstruction. She didn't necessarily have the verbiage for that, but this thing she thought she knew that Moses had written the first five books of the Bible was now just sort of crashing down around her. <coughs> that was easily the first year of seminary, maybe even first two years of seminary, a regular MDiv degree is three years. And then you have all these shards of glass all around you about what you believe about Jesus and what you believe about the Holy Spirit and what do you believe about God as creator and what you believe about the church and um, our call as community and our call to service and all of those things. All these things you thought you knew are now shattered down around you. And then ultimately you do reconstruction. You pick up the pieces one by one and go, well, do I actually believe this or do I believe this? And you start to pick and choose from among the colors and then you begin to sort of recreate your frames. It becomes like a stained glass window. It becomes this mosaic that is much more dynamic and varied and beautiful than those individual panes that you had before. But the process of deconstruction is often painful. The process of reconstruction, of picking up those sharp bits, of imagining them, them, of valuing them, of choosing them, can be equally painful. But there is a beauty that comes from that process. Now our next series about tough topics Take some tough scriptures sort of head on. These are scriptures that have been used to hurt and to harm generally marginalized people uh, throughout the history of the church. Um, sometimes different eras, sometimes different ways. And we're just gonna come along to them. And part of that process will probably result in some deconstruction. There may be things that I suggest, questions that I ask that have you, me sort of breaking your pains, your theological beliefs. I'm not trying to be mean, I'm really not. I'm trying to help us look thoughtfully at different beliefs and different scriptures and different values, and then to be able to go into a process of reconstruction. Now, all of that doesn't generally happen in short order. It's not a fast process, and so you might feel like I leave you in deconstruction for a while. Hopefully it's not a full two years, but it might be the whole series. We've got a reconstruction kind of series planned for after in June. But just know that it's normal to feel uneasy as we look at these passages in general for what they are and how they've been taught. But definitely as we re-examine them, re-examine our approach to scripture, re-examine our priority of scripture, re-examine our value of scripture, and try to come to places that are healthier for us and for others as we deal with these tough topics. Take care, friends.